CDK on the mic here, so let's get right into it. Wack 100 is never afraid to speak his mind, even if that means ruffling some feathers. And he unleashed another hot take recently, but this time evolved into a hip hop's most cherished figures. During a guest appearance on the game's Drink Champs interview with Nori and DJ EFN, the veteran music manager who reps Game alongside Blueface and Ray J claimed Tupac was a legend when he passed away in September of 1996, but his bitter rival, the notorious B.I.G., who was killed just six months later, wasn't. Tupac died a legend. Biggie did. He died a legend. Biggie and Tupac was, was a young kid. We don't Tupac even know what he would have done. His body work, movies, you're right, you're right. CDs, albums that went quadruple. Biggie was dead before his first <clears throat> album came out. He became that. No, second album. Second, second album. album. Second album. He second became album. that yeah. over the years. Remaking songs, move, he became that. Wack 100 also challenged Nipsey Hussle was a legend when he got shot and killed in March of 2019. You saying Nipsey became that too? I, no, I'm saying he will become that. No, Nipsey became no, that. No, bro, we, it still Nipsey. hasn't happened. Movies gotta happen, shit gotta happen. Nah, Nipsey He's only been going, what, two I, years? I, 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 so Wack's comments echoes those he made about the late Victory Lap rapper in 2019. The man died with a million followers, no radio hits, no platinum hits, right? No world tours, right? After he died, he went platinum, sold a bunch of records, followers went up 9, 10,000, right? 9, 10 million, right? Was he on his way? I think at the time, yes, he would have been. But at the time of his demise, let's keep it real. The truth could never be defined as disrespect. The game also weighed in on the Tupac and Biggie debate by bringing in Jesus. Yes, Jesus into the equation. Do we know how long Jesus was giving the gospel before Judas ran him into the Romans Holy and shit, killed him? Bro, that's a loaded Do we question. Know that? Mm -hmm. It might be a history lesson in that for all of us. Mm -hmm. You know, Nick put his album out and then perished, you know what right. I'm saying? But, but he was great to the people who knew he was great, but not to the world because yeah. he didn't service his yes, music while he was here like yes. that. Yes. Same with Biggie. Right. Biggie died before... Um, Life After Death came out. The second right. album, right. Second album. Right. He was here for the first. Right. So, you know, on the, on the same accord, does anyone know how long Jesus was? Was Jesus on his first album or his second album? Wait, we need to figure that out and then that, let, that be the, let that be the ledger for what legend is. Wack 100 wasn't the only one firing off hot takes on Drink Champs during the episode. The game started the pot by claiming that he smoked Eminem in a versus battle and had this to say about Kanye West. It's crazy that Ye did more for me in the last two weeks than Dre did for me my whole career. Game's remarks reignited the long back and forth between him and 50 Cent, who shared a screenshot of his former G unit signee, comments on Twitter with the caption, huh, what happened here? The game fired back by tweeting, last time you did this with me, G unit's clothing line got put in a casket with the entire group and you went into television. I like power-ish, leave it alone, I'm back outside. But um, yeah, do you agree with Wack 100 by saying Biggie wasn't a legend and Tupac was? Let me know in the comments section. I'll go with the name of CDK on the mic. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all latest videos dropping. And as always, keep it all the way locked to aboutdx.com.